Hello guys, today is time for the new part, how to save your loot, how to stay safe. From today I wish to, uh, I've got to check for you the uh, most of the caves, the valuable caves for the base building in the Scam Island. And we start with the base, which is I thinking is the the cave is the best for the base building. I never seen nothing that good like this. And I will show you now. Here we go. I guess most of you guys know about this cave. It's located on the Z1 sector, somewhere in the middle. Pretty good location. Uh, it's uh, easy for for metal looting in the train yard. Uh, nice uh, POI and uh, a torpedo factory close to the town with a lot of metal and uh, pretty good uh, loot over there not so far for the boat of the safe zone let's check this out I know about this cave uh, pretty long time ago I discovered this but I didn't notice it's something more than this probably some of you also Maybe because I come here in the night time, uh, I didn't see this. But now, it's another spot. This is the really place for your base here. And like you see, it's high enough to put even the level up for your building. So which is, I show you in the next part of this video, because Actually, I have this base on the server I used to play. So I show you my base too. My design, my tricks. So, what is the important uh, here right now? This is the only way to go up. The flag, like I see, I already put upstairs here. So what we do, we're gonna just cover how much is possible over here, over here. This is not really a, a lot of the walls compared to build the base uh, on top you need to cover only these sides another trick maybe we will focus about this uh, base building tricks uh, in another video but definitely you know about the part of you know about the tricks just uh, to build piece by piece so explosives not gonna destroy the big part of the wall just uh, the small ones there we you cannot pass this of course we upgrading uh, this uh, these walls to the maximum the bigger squad means the flag can handle more parts of these walls so with from my perspective four five person in squad 
it's you can make this base really 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 strong okay you cover all this here with the multiple walls seven, seven six seven layers whatever <clears throat> then only one way to go up you need to board two of these uh, foundations oh, yeah, put a little bit higher maybe even one is enough definitely and every time when you're coming to the game and you want to enter your base you will need to make these stairs of course well here we go and now we are next to our base so now is the time I, I want to show you the, like I said, the, the base already exists on the server. I play official server Europe. Which one? You need to discover by yourself. So, see you in my base. Welcome in my base. Usually I don't need to use the torch, but for the video purposes, uh, I want to should see everything so this is my entrance good things of this part is if you are at least one of you your squad and you have a base here one of you is online it's technically this base is unraidable the raiding squad need to swim here or use the boat but it's so easy just throw grenades from top there I show you where my base is and just kill them one by one another trick I show in the one video of the one of the my favorite uh, youtubers uh, casual wardock if you don't know him please go check he have a great content uh, he show how to chip away defense your base so in this case if you build over here the, the nail straps all around here you can you can build everywhere you want here on these platforms so everybody who try to swim here and claim will be directly dead and they cannot destroy this because they swimming on his video also he show when we plant this and we pour it after that upgrade the foundation that will be barely visible from a brick or cement foundation just check his video and it will be very clear what to do so only uh, the way we destroy this, uh, the spikes here is they come with the boat, but in this case the raiders are a very easy target uh, for us. Okay, let's go. This is my first defensive part. I can wait here for the lock pickers and kill them. This is the one part. This one here is have a purpose because our entrance will be over here. So when going up and down and build the stairs, the raiders when they pass the first door they cannot shoot us uh, that easy like uh, like before. Okay, let's go for entrance. Over here is the my main base. This, this is all the defensive I talked uh, in the beginning of the video. Of 
course it can be more and more but uh, here I play in solo and it's it's not easy like you know uh, it's a really strong base uh, when you play solo so going inside uh, I have uh, some chest for selling some leftover materials and this is another trick because the loot is on top of there so here again to go for more materials Here we go. Okay, though. This small platform here is needed because the, if you need to transport the chest from top downstairs or uh, from downstairs to the top, they will be help you uh, with this. And I need to crouch. And here is the my stuff. Easy thing to defend your base from here. This is the first spot. If someone pass your first door, <laughs> you can throw grenade. Uh, in the middle of this you can defend your base shooting from here you can shoot here if they are already inside and you can shoot from here of course this uh, stairs over here and this in the building uh, I destroying when I going offline so or I going for some trip so the plus of this uh, base location here is when the planes come back it cannot be founded uh, easy to defend because it's only one way to approach this base from the sea side so of course when you are uh, offline and all your squad is offline and there's some huge squads coming with the plenty of explosives I don't know if how much C4 is needed to, to pass this there's more Okay, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!